Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video I will be teaching how to uh, run your PHP project locally using a program called XAMPP. So first things first, I'm going to go to the XAMPP website to download this. I'll just download the most recent version. Okay, once that finishes up, I'll go ahead and open it. Yes. And then the installer should open up. Okay, this just popped up. I'll say yes, continue, and that's okay. And for all these, I'll just leave these as their defaults. Okay, I don't want to learn more about it. And next, and then it'll go through the installation. All right, once it finishes, go ahead and leave this checked for starting the control panel. Hit finish, and it'll open it up. Select the language, and you should see something like this. Now, by default, it runs on port 80. Port 80 is used by a lot of different programs, so there's something on my computer that is blocking it. So Zamp can't run Apache to be able to run my application. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type in ZAMP change port and I'll just click on this first Stack Overflow link that shows up. And right here we learn that we have to change this file and this file. So we have two files we have to change and it shows where they were installed to if um, we left the defaults open or on when we when we were installing it. So I'm going to pull up my text editor I'm going to say open, I'm going to say new window, and I'm going to open a folder, and that was on my C drive in XAMPP, Apache, and I'll leave it right there. Let that open up. Okay, so the first one was inside of conf, and it was this httpd conf, and I'm just going to search for 80, and I can see there are three instances of 80 in here, and I'm going to change all of them to 8012. Go ahead and save that. And then the next one was an extra HTTPD SSL. And this time I'm going to search for 443, which is the default port that is running this service. And I'm going to select all of them. Looks like, again, there are three of them. And this time I'm going to do 8013. Okay. So now I should be able to come over here and start this. And this showed up green. It shows what ports it's running it on. And so I can come over into my browser and type in localhost 8012. And here is my XAMPP dashboard. Now, next thing we're going to do. This obviously is not my PHP application. If I open up XAMPP um, in my file explorer, so it's right here on my C drive, come into here, htdocs, that's where it pulls from by default. Okay, this is the application that it'll serve up. So if I wanted my PHP application to show up in here, I'd have to put all of my code in here, um, which I don't really want to do. I have a different place where I like to store my code. I don't want to store it inside of this. So to change that, let's go back into Google. And I'll say XAMPP change htdocs location. All right, open up the first Stack Overflow link again. And here it shows which file we have to change. Um, and so right now it's store, it's pulling it from here. So I'm going to copy this and it looks like it's in this file that we already edited. So it should be open in our text editor. If I just search for that string. Yep. Okay. So there's two, two of that string. It looks like, so I'm going to select those and then I'm going to copy this path because this is my PHP project that I actually want um, to have run. So I'm going to paste that there. Um, these all have to be forward slashes. And then inside of my PHP project, I have a web folder where I want um, that, you know, that's where everything shows up. So um, I'm also going to add uh, slash web in there as well. Okay. So uh, I'm going to stop this and start it up again. Hopefully it'll recognize those changes I just made and then refresh this. Okay, object not found. So it did recognize my changes. Uh, it's because I don't have a dashboard directory. So I'm going to take that out of there. And here is my homepage for my PHP project. Okay, now what's really nice about this is now I don't have to do git add, commit, push every single time I want to see a change and go to my Heroku site. Now, if I wanted to, I could just come into here. Here's my index.php file. I could just delete all this and say hi there or whatever, save it, and then come back over here and hit refresh and it's on my change. Okay. In addition to that, um, it runs PHP, you know, so here's my, my PHP include for this shared header file that I have. And if I just refresh over here, 
it'll see those changes and it'll do it. Okay, and then um, you know whenever I'm ready to to submit an assignment or I want to test it in the live website, then I can then do get add commit and push and then check my Heroku site. Okay, um, so that is it for setting up Zamp. Okay, uh, we downloaded it, installed it, changed the port that it runs on, and changed the default directory that it runs from as well. Um, so now that it's all working, I would just close out of this. I'd never have to touch any of that again. Um, yeah, I hope that this video is helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know.